Over the past 10 to 15 years in the U.S., we've seen a movement to outsourcing real estate. That continues to this day, and it's now in its third, fourth, fifth generation. In Europe, we're now in the first generation, in early stages of corporate real estate centralizing in order to get control of the real estate and make effective change happen. So we're seeing a big increase in the amount of outsourcing. We are not seeing corp companies go in-house with these services, but more outsourcing with strategic partners. They keep lean, efficient teams to manage strategically and manage up to the C-suite and into the business, and they're able to get efficiencies, um, innovations, best practices, and process that they need to operate uh, the real estate. One of the first things we see corporates uh, outsource today is the lease administration or data management. Mm -hmm. It's the foundation to what they do to drive value. They need the data, they need analytics, and they need to capture this information. From that, they can affect a utilization of space, portfolio analysis, and transactions around the real estate to right-size their portfolios and impact the workplace. After that, you see transactions management, acquisition and disposition of space, also project management, um, and in addition to that, facility management, which tends to be more difficult and require more HR involvement around the outsourcing of, of facility management teams.